Hello cruising world, Mick the Suit Guy with you today. We're gonna to take a look at something called the chef's table. You probably know what that is. It's a, it's a special dinner, only a select few that pay, go to. Uh, typically they used to do it once a week, but it got so popular on many ships now, they do it every single night of the cruise. You can book it in advance under your account. Basically what it is, is a, uh, a meal, and most of the new ships have a special room just for it. Some of the older ships, they'll take you into a private area on the ship. There won't be a specific room designed just for it. It'll be something else with nothing else going on at that point. Um, we've done it from a nightclub to a library to uh, anywhere. But like I said, on the newer ships, they've built specific rooms just for it, which is really nice. So you get a nice private meal cooked for you by one of the top chefs on board, if not the top chef. And it'll be like a 10 or 11 course meal. Uh, they'll meet up in the uh, atrium lobby bar typically. And there'll be a couple of people there. They've got your know, faces, they've got your pictures, so they know what they're looking for. You show up, they do a little tour of the galley. They typically, oh, I'm not going to spoil it. Yes, I am. They show you how to make the chocolate melting cake. And then they take you for your dinner. Uh, and it's like I said, 10 or 11 small courses, but trust me, it's enough. And we've done it probably seven or eight times now. And I will continue to do it. I have booked it on the Venezia we'll be going in October. And uh, I will, uh, you know, it's going to cost you anywhere between 80 and I think $95. And it sounds like a lot, but for what you get and the quality of the food you typically get, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. So what I did is we went on the horizon with my friends Leela, Chuck, Tim and Julia and myself. We went on the chef's table and uh, we made a little video of the courses to, uh, just to give you an idea of what happens. So uh, if you don't want to have it spoiled and you want the surprises, do not watch this video because I'm going to show you spoilers. The menu typically doesn't change much. So uh, what you see here will probably be similar, if not the same as what you'll have. So again, spoiler alert, I'm going to ruin your meal. Not really, I'm not going to ruin it. But this is what to expect. All right, so you'll all meet up usually in the atrium lobby. There'll be a couple of wonderful crew members waiting for you. And yes, they will have a picture of all your faces so they know who they are looking for. And then one of the chefs, if not the head chef, will come down and meet you and introduce themselves. And they will take you all into the main galley for a little tour. So we're going to get a little tour of the galley and we'll do some stuff outside before we go into the main room for our main meal. There's going to be a lot of courses. They're, none of them are huge courses, but trust me, it's a lot of of food and it's pretty much the same on most ships some of the newer ships as you'll see have their own individual room for this others they'll just find a spot on the ship and do it um, i've done it in the library i've done it in the nightclub i've done it all over but you're going to come in and the first thing you'll typically do is all gather around this one area in the galley and there'll be some little appetizers for you to whet your appetite as they say um, you'll give you a glass of champagne and the chefs will come around and reveal each of those piles into four different appetizers here and uh, I'm not going to do this on all of these I'll show you on a couple the chef explaining them but I want to keep some of the mystery for you if you end up going so uh, these are four little appetizers and you will try them one at a time and as you do each one like I said the chef will explain what you are eating um, I should add by the way if you want to do uh, if you don't eat meat but you eat fish you can request a vegetarian uh, uh, a pescatarian version of this I did it once so you can have all uh, seafood if you want to, yeah, just let them know in advance. I took a quick sneak into the main room where we were going to eat to give you a look at it. Uh, again, on the newer ships, they have those. On the older ships, you could be anywhere. And then they're going to take you a little walk through the galley. As you can see right here, we were all led down here. And uh, in a minute, we're going to make a turn and you're going to see all of the crew picking up the meals for you all. Hello, hello. If you're up in the main dining room, this is where they go pick your food after you order it. So all the chefs the other side, all the way to this side, and they have all the food laid out there with an indication of what is what. There's your medium well, medium, you know, however you want your steaks cooked right there. And the uh, wait staff will come and pick them up for you and take them to your table. But we are heading in the back here because we are going to get a demonstration on how they cook the chocolate melting cakes. They'll typically pick one person from the group to be the uh, guinea pig, as it were. And there we have him sitting in the back there making it. Um, and it, it's kind of cool. You know, a lot of people like the melting cake. I don't personally eat it. I do try and be a little bit healthy. I will typically eat the cheese plate for my dessert, especially as I'm sulking because they don't do the s'mores parfait anymore. But it's interesting for a lot of people to see what goes into it. And once you do see what goes into it, uh, you may not eat it again because it's not the healthiest <laughs> dessert in the world. That's all I'm going to say. 
There's a lot of bad food goes in that. Anyway, they're just going to show you this real quick and then they'll give you the final product and show you how it all is. And uh, it, it's interesting. Uh, they, they, it's not just sitting down at a table and eating your food on the chef's table. Like I said, you get that tour of the galley. Uh, you'll all meet up and have those appetizers. And then they're going to have this demonstration on the uh, chocolate melting cake. And then once we are finished with this, we are going to head into the main room for our main meal. Zzz, me meals. It's about another nine courses to go. So here we are heading into the chef's table room. Again, on the newer ships, they'll have a special room like this. On some of the older ships, you'll just be somewhere on the ship. And there's your chef explaining how the meal's going to go to you. You've got your uh, lovely red stripe right there for me. And here is your um, menu for the night, what we're going to eat. So as you can see there, we've got duck, sea bass, lamb, all sorts. And now one of your crew members, one of your wait staff is going to explain to you what your wine choices are. You do get a free white or red wine with dinner. And they're explaining you the different red and white options that you'll have. And then I'm going to show you some videos of some of the courses you're going to eat over the evening. You'll get a little bread right there, which is not like any normal bread you'll eat, I promise you. And, you know, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I want you to enjoy these and taste these courses. But this is more to give you an idea of the flow, the size of some of the portions that you'll get. So it's it's may not look that big, but trust me, when you have like nine of these courses or whatever it is, and plus those appetizers, it's a lot of food. And this whole experience is going to run you about two and a half to three hours. So don't expect it to be a quick night either. So here we have the chef explaining the course to you. Tim is uh, being explained to, my friend Tim. But there's a quick look. And some of the courses coming up. Now I'm going to show you in a second. We're going to have a break halfway through as I show you some of these. And um, we're going to have the uh, magician do a little show for us halfway through the meal. And I'm going to show you the magician live showing my friend Tim a little trick. There's the sea bass. Will that bubble burst? I keep waiting for it to burst, but it didn't burst. We're going to go straight into the magician. Here we go. Magician coming up now. All right, now. All right, now. Now, can you hold your hand like this? Perfect. I'm going to place the cards here. And good. can you put your other hand on top? Okay. Perfect. Now, what we're going to try and do... Uh, I'm going to try to pull out one card without looking okay. and that's going to be your card. Would that be amazing if I can pull out one card without looking That'd at your card? That'd be pretty yeah. Alright, let's see okay. if this works. I'm just going to take out one card. Okay. Oh, sorry, that's not your card. <laughs> that's fine. That's not your card. <laughs> A joke. Alright, All right, let's try this for real, alright? Okay. I'm going to take out another card. I see that one. No, we're eating. I see what that is. No, that. That's the one, right? Oh, what the? And it has your signature there, right? God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on. I, I said this is the last request. We're going to make this even bit more special. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try this. Guys, I'm going to snap my fingers. And as I snap my fingers, all the cards inside your hands are going to disappear. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Sure. Snap. Yep. And just like that now, all the cards inside his hands have disappeared. Tell everyone that the cards have disappeared. They disappeared. Thank you so much, guys. That was yeah. my time. Hope you enjoyed this. That was good. <laughs> but you don't feel the cards, right? I feel them. I feel some feel, cards in there. You, you feel some cards? Yes. But they've disappeared, right? Okay, sure. Whatever you say. Can you take a look? <laughs> Whoa, what the? God, they're totally disappeared. <laughs> That's really damn good, too. <laughs> I guess he got Tim. Here's another course. And now I'm going to have the chef explain a course to you. It has the crunchiness. And the coating from the salt itself is added with a herb puree. Mm. All right? That is the crystal salt. And we add some egg white to do the coating. So that flavor absorbed inside the beetroot when it is baked like for two and a half hours. And we cover them with kale leaves. Like that, all right. And this is the beetroot. You guys will love it. Ooh wow. la la. And this is the next course. And this is also layered by layered, and then we put some marination, slow bake, and the flavor from the kosher salt is absorbed along with the herb puree into that, okay? All right, that was the chef explaining the beet 
meal, beet uh, course. So a couple of quick uh, videos for you here, and then I'm going to hand you back over to the chef to explain the uh, dessert course and the dessert wine that they offer. Uh, that was a sirloin steak with a nice little sauce that they put on there. So, um, yeah, this is really giving you hopefully a good idea of the size of the courses more than anything. But let, let's have the chef explain one more thing. More what we use on the melting chocolate cake. And this is all about coffee, chocolate, and cocoa. We have chocolate markers topped with the buttercrumb, cocoa dust, served with frozen milk along with short crust bread. And also it is flavored, you know, with uh, honey glaze on the frozen milk. The sauce itself is made with a cream brulee sauce. And of course we have the tulips made with sugar, flour, butter, and egg white, flavored with strawberry, honey parmesan, and chocolate underneath. Also, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, boys and girls, we have the dessert wine. This is dessert wine, Tony Port wine, all the way from Portugal, made with six grapes. Wow. Along with your dessert, nice and sweet wine that you guys can enjoy. Six grapes wine. Last month it was seven plants. One plant die, it becomes six. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. That's bon appetit. Thank you. All right, Always helps when a chef has a good sense of humor, right? This will be your last dessert choice of the night, and then I'm going to show you a few pictures. So if you've managed to eat all this, good for you. I hope you've gathered that this is a lot of food. A <laughs> couple of pictures of you to summarize the night. These were the appetizers we had at the very beginning, and just a few shots of the food. Uh, again, this is a, called the chef's table. It, again, it's a little bit pricey, but I can't recommend it enough if it's something new that you want to try. Um, you can book it in advance of the cruise. You can go online on your account and, and order it. Uh, or you can try and do it on board, but you know, remember, it does sell out. Some ships is on every night, um, but once it's sold out, it's sold out. So if you want to try something different and you want to test your taste buds, uh, it, it's a really good experience. You'll meet some great new people. You'll get to see some behind-the-scenes stuff, and uh, again, you'll get to taste some new foods you might not have otherwise tried. And there's another little look at the menu at the end there. Um, so yeah, chef's table. And again, if you don't like meat meat, you can do a seafood option. Just make sure you let them know in advance. Um, I'm sure they could even do a vegetarian if you asked. So that's the chef's table on Carnival Horizon. And now, back to me. Right, there you go. Chef's table on Carnival Horizon. Very similar on many other ships as well. But uh, we love it. I think it's very much worth the money. If it's in your budget to go do, I would recommend you do it. It's something different. Um, it's about twice the size of the steakhouse. Twice the price of a steakhouse dinner. So, um, you know, is it better than Gigi's? Mm. You know my love of Gigi's if you watch these videos. So, oh, that's a up in the air one. But it's an excellent meal and I think it's full value for money. But uh, put your feelings in the comments because just because I say it's great doesn't mean it's great for you. So all I, all I recommend is things I would like to recommend doesn't mean they're for everybody, but I think it's good. Uh, so yeah, you can go online, like I said, book it in advance. The advantage of booking it in advance before you cruise is well twofold. If you have onboard credit, you can put it towards it in advance now. But also, uh, you get to choose what day you go. It's going to be a one time every day. Typically, it's a 6.30 meeting. And that is going to take you two and a half to three hours for this dinner. So it's not a quick thing. So forget about doing much else on that night. But, um, you know, that way you get to pick your date. If you wait until you get on the ship, you're going to be left with the pickings of what's left from people that didn't book in advance. And it could be sold out completely. It often is because it's very popular. So, uh, yeah, that was a look at the chef's table, this time on Carnival Horizon, pretty similar on most of the ships, uh, apart from the newer ones that have their own room. And with that, subscribe! I'm getting closer to 2,000, that's my goal. If I get to 2,000, I might just quit. No, oh, I'm not going to quit. Um, but keep subscribing, keep sending me your questions, keep sending me your weekly tips for my, your tips for my weekly tips video, and your cruising traditions, should you have any. What do you do on every cruise? I'd love to know. I'd love to share it with the rest of the cruising world because you can only educate each other. You can educate yourself, but you have to be taught, don't you? Very few people learn it from scratch. But with that, I will see you later, cruising world. Any questions? Email me anytime. Cruisingsuitguy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site elitetravelconnection.com or email me mick at elitetravelconnection.com we are here for you finally subscribe please pretty please you know you want to go on i won't beg you okay i'm begging please
subscribe. Thank you.